Hey, got a minute? Hmm, are you talking to moi? Moi? Date, now is not the time to be distracted by this old man's diction. Mind if I ask you what you're doing here? Moi? I am but a humble taxi cab driver. There we go. I'm with the police. I have some questions for you. Put some of the magazines in the rack. Featured. Anyone can run a pyramid scheme. I believe I'll purchase that on my way home. I'm not surprised. Put some magazines in the rack. Vending machine for of drinks. Sofa. Sofa king. Don't. Sofa. It, what? It plans. Dante, look, an ant lion. Yay! Go ant lion. It has a strange fascination with insects. What a plant. A he a high table. A high stool. A high stool. It's like a. Tall seat. Yes. Why are you stating the obvious? I stool are uh, placed around the table. Door. There's probably an office back there. Ah, this is Magnus Spiel. How do you know? Magnus Spiel's uh, promotional video is playing. The company's logo. Amnesgate. There's a, a table in front of the sofa. A reception desk. There's an abstract painting displayed on the wall. Oh, have you taken note of the painting? It is titled Lions Fishing Carpe Diem. There's an abstract uh, There's an comprehensive all the abstract painting displayed on the wall. A large window. It's our uh, Her with bit with big or with that all it looks like it's um what you're too far away I can't hear you I walked close inside to the receptionist me to some big strong man who can protect me nah I'm sure you'll be fine on your own no I'll totally die huh I can't hear you I walk closer to the reception Didn't you? But it's kind of complicated. I Did I do you, that in this timeline? But you were just joking, right? Right. You called no, this something. I'm serious. An reptilian last time. I am fairly sure she means vegetarian. Hmm. I mean, that works as well, probably. Closer, I can't hear you. Go oh, closer to the receptionist. Well, what can I say, you know? The biz is harsh, schedules are tight. If we shut down for even a date, we'd throw everyone else's schedules off. So they want to avoid that, of course. I 
Because she mistook a reptile for vegan. Vegetarian. Reptilian vegetarian. Self-employed taxi driver. I was born in Kawago, Saitama. And why do you talk like that? I don't know what you mean. I've spoken this way all my life. My parents speak with the same vernacular. Before I uh, arrived at Lemniscate, I got a picture of Mayumi for the uh, from Abyss. I showed it uh, to the driver. Did you drive this passenger on Sunday night? Oh, I did indeed. I remember her well. The old hag. Old hag? Row you too. I took her on a tour of the streets of Tokyo. Our ultimate destination was the warehouse district in Ariake. Why didn't you report this to the police? Report it? You don't know about the incident at the cold storage warehouse? It was all over the news. No, I'm afraid not. Newspapers and television news programs have never been much of an interest to moi. I have just finished conveying my client from Tameke Sano's studio. I was informed that the visit here would be brief, and thus I have decided to wait in this lobby. Hmm, I recall it was around 10 in the evening. Near the Kabasaki district, an unassuming restaurant named Matsushita Diner. That's where I picked up the old hag. Once again, and screw you too. foot in my conveyance, she was already barking orders at me. Follow that van, hurry! I must admit, I found it rather exciting, just like an old chase film. I, of course, insisted that I be paid up front. We pursued the van for roughly half an hour. Suddenly, the van came to a halt at a convenience store. The Famisto along Koshu, right? Precisely right. I am surprised you know that. In any case, I knew that the jig would be up if we were seen following the van. So I decided to drive past it. I parked at the 8th store, but 100 yards from there, while waiting for the object of our pursuit to make its next move. The old hag suddenly spoke up. I have to buy something, she declared, then made her way into the eight. This must be when Mayumi bought the Odoroki Man chocolate. A few minutes later, the old hag finished making her purchases and walked out. And then, at that very moment, I witnessed the van jet off at great speed down Koshu. I hurried the old hag inside my vehicle, then resumed the chase. We followed them for roughly half an hour more. I see. If the driver's story is correct, Mayumi did not know that Oto was left behind at the Famisto. Mayumi thought Oto was in the van the whole time. You know, his uh, model is worse than his uh, picture that comes up in the corner when talking. Uh, because his models look like there are big gaps in between every one of his teeth. We then arrived at a splendid manor. The van entered the premises through the front gate and disappeared from view. We of course could not follow, so we waited outside. I estimate another 10 minutes passed. The front gate opened once again and the van drove out and we pursued. But 30 minutes later, our pursuit was foiled again. What happened? The van drove into the restricted Kabasaki district. The old hag, of course, demanded that I follow. But I was not about to risk my license and livelihood. Instead, I parked on the road and waited for the van to drive back the way it came. Ah, but of course, we knew it might not take the same road back. In fact, we were not even sure the van would be coming back at all. But the old hag was not keen on giving up, so we began our stakeout. 
About 45 minutes later, the date had changed at this point. It was 12.25 a.m. on Monday. How do you remember the time so well? Well, you see, I always keep my radio dial on the same station. I remember precisely which programs were playing during this endeavor. Thus, I can approximate the time. I see. Please continue. At 12.25 a.m., the old hag's tenacious gamble paid dividends. The van returned down the same street. And thus, we again made pursuit. I kept considerable distance. We had come so far, I did not want to get caught now. But my caution backfired. I lost sight of the van in the RARK warehouses. Without so much as a thank you, the old hag popped open the door and took off toward the warehouses. I waited for some time, but the old hag did not return. The goose was cooked at this point, so I made the decision to return home. I am glad I had the foresight to ask for payment in advance. I follow your story. I have one more question. Where is this manor the van stopped at? Oh, every taxi driver in the city knows that residence. It is the personal home of Congressman So Sejima. Sejima? Why did the van go to So's house? We need to speak with him immediately. Agreed. Let's move. Well, we know from another timeline that he gets killed and stuff. To a was it a pot, a yard, something? Cut up. There's no one here. Oh. Indeed. I think I know where he is. Bodyguards. I do not detect them either. Let's go inside. Hey, Aiba. Do you smell something funny? You are aware that I do not possess the sense of smell, correct? Oh, right. Mm. Yeah. I think I know where so is. A folding screen. No, first time we're get to look around this place. A expensive looking table in the middle of the room. There's a... There's a cushion on top of the chair. A hanging scroll. Hanging scroll. There's something strange about this vase. Right, it the way face. What is it? This is definitely where the smell is coming from. Is there something inside? Maybe, but the opening is covered by a metal plate. The lid is fixed with a bolt. It will not open easily. How do you fix metal plate to a porcelain vase? By a bowl. Yeah. Then, as is standard procedure. Need to wait to be inside. Not quite as gruesome in this sort of style. What the? Date! Destroy the base! Got it! Oh. Much more gruesome, much more unpleasant. Thank you very much. Uh, so Sejima? Ribcase was sticking out of his body piece.
fragments of the broken vase. Those body. Cut in pieces. That is the head of Sosajima. The left eye is hollowed out. This is most likely a crime committed by the new Cyclops killer. Do you have an estimated time of death? Today, sometime between 11 a.m. and noon. That's about when I was talking to Ota at Matsushita Diner. At that time, Mayumi was in police custody and Iris was in the ICU of Central Hospital. They have not moved. That means Ota, Mayumi, and Iris couldn't possibly have committed the crime. Assuming that this is the work of a single killer, those three can be eliminated from the list of suspects. Ota, Mayumi, and Iris are not the new Cyclops killer. Right. By the way, why is there no one in the mansion? No bodyguards, no housekeepers. I do not know. Does So have family? So Sejima's wife died in labor 30 years ago, giving birth to their son. Their son is currently living abroad. So lived here alone? Do you find that suspicious? No, just... Date, a call from Pewter. Connect me. Date, the sick machine is up and running. Great, you we found the dead body. Oh, We're both thanks, doing Pewter. great things, Pewter. There are more pressing matters now. Did something happen? Yeah, I found Sosajima's body. With the left eye hollowed out. What? I'm at the Sajima household. Send the investigation team over. Why so? I can answer your questions when I get back to Abyss. Got it. Well, in one timeline, boss did this. That much we know. No, there's something I need to do. If that taxi driver was telling the truth, Naomi was at the warehouse yesterday, and we know the chocolate we found at the scene was hers. Maybe she saw something. Maybe she knows something we don't. Some kind of clue or information about the culprit. Then... Yeah. We're gonna sync with Mayumi. Doesn't matter. The sink is what's important. If we sink into Mayumi's brain, that might help us find the real culprit. I understand. Are you ready? Yeah. Then let's begin. Matsushita Diner, though it looks... odd. Likely an effect of the dementia. Then we need to help remind her. Do you think such a thing can be done? This diner means everything to Mayumi. If we do what we did last time and reproduce the actions from Mayumi's memories, we could help her remember everything. Is this what you call your intuition? Told you it was useful. Well, if we must... Somnium skin!
sliding door at the entrance. Who could that be? Ghost? Welcome. Come on in. Why did you say it like that? Oh, they're not a customer. Agent Dante, a wall clock. you've got five minutes. The hands have stopped. A calendar. The calendar reads two months ago. The sliding door at the entrance. Who could that be? I'm back, I Welcome guess. Welcome back. Welcome back, Ota. You're late today. Home. Are you not hungry? Today's dinner is on the rice. Your favorite. Dad is back. But you can start eating. Again? I'm okay. I ate already. But... I'm fine. Uh, Ota, wait! Ota? Uh, this isn't going to be fun. Part of the diner has manifested. Maybe this is one of the memories she forgot. It must be important to her, though. It looks like a sad memory. It doesn't matter if it's sad. It's still important. A swinging door that leads to the kitchen. Sushita Diner. Yes. Well, yes. Yes. What? My, my husband. Why? How could this happen? Memories aren't all happy, but they are all significant. If this continues, will it not have a negative effect on Mayumi? Maybe. But we have to see this through. We have to. Understood. Right. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. A delicious cake. I wonder who it's for. memorable than a cake for yourself maybe a cake for someone that you love someone Mayumi loves a delicious cake congratulations Ota congratulations Ota I'm 
home. Oh, Tom. Congratulations on getting into the university, son. Congratulations. Hooray! Congrats! He still does, and he still is. I see. It's an envelope. Minutes, Some kind of mail? This is a bank statement. The Matsushita family's loan. Their best. Let's do our best. <sighs> we have to keep supporting Ota. Okay, we'll work harder for Ota's dream. heavy burden of debt and stress running the diner. That's true, but sometimes hardship is worth it. Is that so? It's a sticker from a chocolate candy. Welcome home! Did you get it for me? It? This is... Oto when he was small? I thought it was the. This is. I thought it was the chocolate type. Do you mean chocolate? Yeah, Odoroki man, remember? Totally read it. I oh, didn't heck? even read it. I yes. just uh, looked at the first letter. <laughs> The Momonoki Man chocolate that you like. Here you go. That's not it. Oh, honey. I thought you liked the Momonoki Man chocolate. No, I told you. It's Odoroki Man. Oh. Sorry. Your mom can be such a dummy sometimes. Right, sweetie. I'm sorry. I'm a big dummy. I'll buy you a real Momonoki man soon. Stupid. It's not Momonoki man. It's Odoroki man. I hate this. I hate you, Mom. What? Wait, Ota. Uh, where did you go? Uh, uh, please. 
please, come out from hiding, Ota. Ota, I'm sorry. Mommy won't make any mistakes anymore, Ota. Ota, come back, Ota! done if Mayumi wakes up after all this trauma I know it's risky but we're here for a reason what are you planning we have to keep going just a little more to awaken her past but if she loves her family this much there has to be something there has to be a precious memory hidden deep within is that your intuition it is Oh boy, yeah. Yeah, yes, the clock. A wall clock. Dance time or turn back time. I. Sweetie! Ma! I... Uh, uh, I... Uh... Huh. We know we can be a hassle sometimes, so... Huh. Ota! Yeah. Like it's okay to go back now. Yes, I agree. By the way, Date. Hmm? I admit, it is useful every now and then. What is? 
your intuition. <laughs>